Hello, lady and gentle, ladies and gentlemen, Virgo friends, Virgo friends. I'm preparing and mixing these cards, these Lenormand cards, as I do every year in December. I create a peek into 2022, and I'm uploading these videos on Christmas Day. Um, more, most likely, everyone knows what Christmas is all about, but it's also Kavanza Day. Kavanza Day is the celebration of Kavanza that was started by a Dr. Karenga in 1996, who was a professor and chairman of Black Studies at California State University. And he, the idea was to bring the African Americans closer together by celebrating and remembering the traditional values of their ancestors. So we celebrate that on the 25th of December as well. Now, how do I do this? I um, work with this, with a what I call a mini grand tableau, which is created by putting, placing four cards on each row, four rows of four cards. And I've created this and used the houses, as I call the positions, to glean information, both on each trimester of the year and in specific areas of your life, Virgo. So let's take a look at what we are seeing. Let me see. Just let me check first. Uh, see? And that. Okay. So the first trimester, we first trimester does not start with a bang at all. First trimester, uh, Virgo, I have to say, and I'm one who, who shoots from the hip. I don't uh, sugarcoat anything here. It will be difficult. You've had insidious uh, things happen to you. And this is a spillover from 2021, actually. But, you know, what is interesting uh, in that difficulty you know, we've got, we've got difficult cards in the beginning here, is that, first of all, you will be contending most likely with a woman. Most likely you'll be involved with a woman who is creating a lot of problems for you, whether it's business, whether it's, you know, uh, uh, love or whatever it is, but that is the one. So, so you know, it's, it's quite in, let's say, quite distinct in signaling to you, uh, Virgo, that you have to watch your back from a female figure. And most likely this female figure was a, is a woman, is a, is a friend. And, um, and that is why it hurts so much. They led you astray. They didn't have your best interests in mind. And however, even though it doesn't start out with a bang at the end of tri the trimester, mid-March to the end of March, you are back in the saddle and you have more stability. So it's a rough going the first two months of the year, maybe until mid-February. Then the second trimester comes and lo and behold, we've got great news coming in, fantastic positive news coming in. Not only is it great news, and it's fantastic, and it's coming in in April, May, the interesting part about it is that it will prompt you to make decisions in relation to that news. And that, those decisions will concern a new beginning of some sort. Could be of a business, could be of a new job, could be of a new relationship, could be anything that has to do with something you have sought out. Then we have the third trimester, which is July, August, September. July, August, September. And we find that this is the key trimester of the year. Remember that, red letter months, July, August, and September, where one door closes and another opens, literally, and you see your seeds planted as coming up. And there's one area, however, that is not very clear in the sense that there is a new beginning, something closes, something opens. This is the 
uh, definitely the trimester that is most important for you, and I stand by that. It's most important in the sense of its challenge that it presents to you because you'll be making decisions and you'll have to face certain occurrences without getting the proper guidance and you'll have to, let's say, use your intuition at times and, you you know, it's that feeling of I'll be damned if I do, I'll be damned if I don't, and then you just go with the right decision. And it takes you home in the sense that you feel comfortable with the decisions that you've made. Now, remember, this is a, a red letter trimester, July, August, and September, because of the challenges that they pose these months. When we get to the fourth trimester, October, November, and December, Virgo, we've got the best months of the year. Of course, the third trimester was a red letter because it was a warning, right? But it is a, a challenge. Here we've got not only you have come home, home is emphasized. The issue of home is emphasized. You may be the owner of a new home. You may have been per looking around and then finally put a down payment. But matters of the home are way, way up there. And you will use your home as a public venue for specific events, for specific um, details, jobs, side hustles. And you probably add on a, a, a wing to the home to accommodate them. Um, but not only is it focalized on work, this fourth trimester, it's also on your health. You Ladies and gentlemen, Virgo friends will benefit from excellent health, especially in those months, during those months, October, November, and December. And if the year has not come in with a bang, you can bet your bottom dollar because it relates to dollars, it goes out with a bang. You will end the year with a a greater bank account. Let's put it this way. You will be flourishing. There's a sense of abundance. And right around the end of the year, you could use it. Good for you, Virgo. You have played your cards right. It seems that you will play your cards right in the year 2020. Fantastic. Truly fantastic. So now, what do we do? Each of these cards represents a house, and I will discuss what um, that house, the, what that area of life means for you in 2020. 2020, 2022, Virgo, boy, where is my mind? Okay, so the first is endings and beginnings. And this is an area of your life that is difficult for you. It will cause you strife when one thing ends and another begins. Um, you don't, you're not up to that in 2022. So watch for that. And this could play out for uh, any type of uh, um, scenario. For example, closing a business, opening a new one, closing a relationship, opening a starting a new one. Um, someone's leaving your life and another enters. And this concept is what I'm talking about. But on the other hand, the area that concerns surprises are marked by a four- leaf clover. Four-leaf clovers are rare, we all know, but four-leaf clovers are very, very lucky. And when surprises come to you, they are positive. So watch for that. Um, whereas endings and beginnings you see coming from afar, because when something ends, you are part and party to that. Now, we go to the area of the spread that concerns endings. Endings has the key, and the key in this deck talks about endings as being an, an element that will characterize your 2022. 2022 for you, Virgo, will mark a series of endings. And remember, the surprises are only positive, so you see these coming, actually. The area of the spread that concerns communications 
is in relation to home matters, matters of the home. So again, I did mention many of you may consider opening a wing or bringing your office to your home. This might be the case, or it might mean that you interact via communications with professionals and um, companies that need, that you need to add on a wing, to improve the siding, uh, to keep up any form of maintenance in your home. Then we have the area concerned with work and livelihood. And here again is that female that doesn't have your back. She pops up again and she doesn't have your best interests in mind. So I truly underline and highlight Virgo that you need to watch your back in relation to that. It's very, very important. Then we have the area of a sense of security. The sense of security is full, chock full of news, chock full of news, positive news coming in, which give you a sense of uh, security, which create that sense of security, that foundation that we all so need. Moving on to the area of guidance, I have here a, uh, um, a sense that 2022 will give you a gap in relation to guidance. You are not ready to seek out guidance because you're not trusting others to give you guidance. And remember that that does have a positive and negative side to that, just like the coin. A coin has two sides. Because as we spoke of a female who doesn't have your back, although positive news comes in, in terms of guidance, you may be misguided. Here's the word that I was looking for. Now, matters um, in, in the area of the home, we did talk briefly about the home, but concerning the home, it will concern public, the public sphere uh, uh, in, in your life. You will be communicating openly to uh, others in the social realm about your home. Here again, you know, I have to stress, this could be actually holding events in your home, ha actually renting out part of your home to hold events, creating part of your home to help in, in, in some business way, to exploit your home to, in a business sense. Now, we have here uh, the area of your life that is public, the public life, and this is best faced and best dealt with through friends, through friends that you have, through friends that you can count on and friends you trusted. Trust. Remember, we talked about uh, guidance and not seeking guidance because of the uh, lack of trust. Well, these cards are knighting and they're telling you seek out friends for this. Seek out people you trust. Tried and true friends. Then we have area, the area of your life that concerns obstacles. And obstacles here, it's quite clearly indicated, they concern decision making. Now, we know that life is a series of, of decisions to be made. And that's what life is really all about. Do I or don't I? And behind these decisions often are those ex existential questions. Who am I? Am I or not am I ready to? Um, this will uh, concern the decision-making process, but also your sense of spirituality and how you face your um, ideas, how your ideas change and shift, and, and you think about these. And you end up understanding better what the spiritual side to your life is like, at least for the year 2022. And that helps you move through the year. And it has to do with surprises that come into your life, with the public life. And, um, you know, it's interesting because you're at bay as to who to ask guidance for, for the decisions you have to make. 
And here too, the cards are telling you, look, Virgo, seek out from others, from acquaintances and say, look, I have to make this decision. What do you think? Do you think that, do you have anyone that you trust? You know, so, so put yourself out there in order for you uh, uh, to help yourself in making decisions. Now, the area of um, your life that concerns decisions precisely, remember the last was obstacles and obstacles are created by decision-making processes. How these cards talk to you are so lovely because in the area of decisions, there's the book. There is a book that is mysterious. You will never know. You don't see these decisions coming and you don't, you, you sort of feel that you can't count on your intuition to make the proper decisions. They're so interesting the way they're speaking to you, Virgo. You must, you really have to listen to this video a number of times. Then the area of uh, nuisances and problems. Nuisances and problems are like a flat tire. So not great problems, right? Um, I have the area of health here. Uh, um, so areas of your, concerning your, your health, sniffles, uh, running a low-grade fever, the dentist, ah, getting out there and going walking more and more. This is going to be problematic for you because you may be lazy at times and you have just, you know, you're overburdened with all of these other decisions to make and, and how you want to get your business off the ground, perhaps. Don't set that aside because little problems that are not faced right away become big problems in the long run. I assure you, I'm not telling you anything new, Virgo. Now, 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 we have the area of something hidden. We spoke briefly about that. Something hidden concerns your stability, your sense of stability and your work. There's an area that relates to your uh, livelihood, relates to your side hustle or your main job that you don't see and you don't know, and that remains hidden until it does pop up, and then you have to make that full-blown decision. Now, the matters of communication, we did speak of communications that related to the home briefly before. Now, matters of communication will concern a new beginning, a new beginning. You write, you speak, you talk, you huddle with people concerning something new, a project that you have, a, a, a dream that you've had, and you've never, you know, tried to get it off the ground. Communication will be around this idea, around you starting again, starting something new. Then we have the area of male influences, and male influences are indicated here by the home again. Males that relate to your home, either people you live with, either people from your family, acquaintances that are nearby, but matters relating to the home and males relating to your home. Interesting. This is an interesting um uh, uh, the Lenormans are very good at pointing you in the right direction. And I really do think it's a matter of going back and listening again, probably even taking notes. And then, like I tell everyone, these are general readings. Get a private reading if you really want to look what your 2022 looks like within more detail. And then the area of female influences. Now, here we have the a uh, card of the fish, which is finan financial abundance. So whereas there was a woman we saw here at the beginning of the year who didn't have your best interests at heart, here we have at the very end of uh, the year, a female that will be helping you. So, you know, it comes in slow the year, but goes out with a bang in without Doubt, without doubt. I'm looking at some of the news here. The news that comes in, there's a lot of matters around the home. That is important. Um, this is a year, as I said, where things definitely end and new things begin. 
um, the the birth death cycle of life is prominent in your reading in the year 2022 20, Virgo and surprises 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 can only be good in 2022. I do hope this was of help to you Virgo. Namaste and until we see each other again. Bye bye. <laughs>